Hey everybody, it's Chrissy from Artsy Bits by K back with another video. Today we're going to open the June Scrawler Box. Yes, I know it's August, but Scrawler Box um, and I had a little bit of a weird thing happen. My account from Scrawler Box was sending me the October 2020 box over and over again. I got it like three times instead of the current box. So I had to contact them and they were really nice about it and fixed it for me. And they sent me out the June and July box at the same time very quickly to fix it. So um, I have the June box here today. We're going to open it and we're going to go through what's inside and what I think. So one thing that I realized whenever I went back to look over my video files was that my unboxing file did not save. So I'm just going to talk about these supplies really quickly while you watch the swatching. Uh, the, the colored pencils were pretty good. I like them a lot. I know that Derwent always makes a solid product. They did, if I colored them down really hard on the paper, you could still see um, a little bit of ghosting from where they were. They didn't dissolve completely. And the mixing tests didn't go great. So that kind of left me to believe that I probably wanted to use them more like a traditional watercolor than in too much of a drawing capacity. But that was okay because they were really good colors and I knew that I could get them to work really well with the other supplies. The brush is great. You can see me making both small strokes, big strokes with it. I don't have any trouble with it at all. I even draw a little flower down below just to show that it's a quality brush. The star of this box by far are these pearlescent shimmer watercolors. I don't know whether they were supposed to come dried down or they were supposed to come wet, but I'm really glad that two of the three came dried down. The green and pink were vibrant and easy to re-wet, and I loved that they were basically like a dry metallic watercolor, but they were so easy to re-wet and reactivate, and they just gave out such a beautiful payout. The silver one is wet, and it definitely is taking a little getting used to because it isn't dry like the other two. I think when I'm done with everything, I might actually go ahead and dry it out because I think that would be the ideal way to use it. But um, it's really, really pretty, and I think it's going to layer over top of the other colors really, really nicely, which is exciting. Lastly, I was able to mix the green and blue, I'm sorry, green and pink together and get this really beautiful purple color. So that gives me a really good idea between the blue and the purple and the pink and the green of what uh, piece I'm going to do today. So I'm really excited to go ahead and get into using this. The paper was also really, really good and I'm excited to use it for cellulose paper. I'm pretty happy with it. So let's go ahead and dive right in to the project.
Okay, everybody, so we finished, and I want to talk a little bit about this piece that I did. So, first of all, I did Phi from Skyward Sword, and yeah, I'm just going to do this so you can see all the shimmer. So, I at first didn't think that me, like, sprinkling at the end there was doing anything, but it really turned out neat. And I love how when you move her, her hair and her elements just have that shine to them. So this turned out super great. I actually love this piece. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the art supplies and if they're worth it. One thing that I didn't play um, have in front of me when I was swatching, but then I went and got it and brought it out, and I used it a lot when I was doing my process video, is this palette right here. Um, this is the Karen Dash uh, palette. I love this palette because it's got two sides. It's got a smooth side. So that's smooth. And then it's got this side, which this side you can see is textured. So you can see I spattered on it. But what you can do with this, which I really love, is like we had watercolor pencils. And I really wanted to use them more like traditional watercolor. So instead of drawing on the paper, I was able to scribble on this palette, which has some tooth to it, and then just take my brush and actually like water it down and voila, there you go instant watercolor. So it's pretty cool and it works really great. It was $11 on Amazon. I'm not affiliated with Karen Dash, nor did I get paid to show this in a video. I pay for it myself. I paid for it myself. I love this palette. I use it so much. It cleans so nicely and it is wonderful if you use watercolor pencils at all. Um, and then the other side is really great for like watercolor markers, which I'm going to do in another video soon. So anyway, I just wanted to tell you what this is in case any of you were wondering while you were watching the video. Uh, let's talk about each set of art supplies, and then I will do my little price comparison of is it worth it. So these are what watercolor pencils are solid. They're not the best watercolor pencils. They're not the worst watercolor pencils. I think the, pig, the, the pigment payout is actually a little less um, impressive than my Arteza set of watercolor pencils that I personally own. So I'll add these to my watercolor pencils. It's three great colors. Um, terracotta, Prussian Blue, and Ivory Black are great colors. The terracotta is a great um, underling sketching color. So these will be great pencils just to use for that purpose. This is a solid brush. It did a great job. I did use this extra brush just to do large swaths of things, um, but the brush was really, really solid. This paper is really good for being cellulose paper. I wasn't expecting it to blow me away, but it actually held the water one nicely. It allowed me to blend nicely. Um, and it did a lot of the techniques that I wanted really nicely. The edges did not um, stay nice under the tape, but that was the tape I was using, not the actual um, paint itself. These pearlescent um, pa paints, they were amazing. I love them. Really fun to use. Um, these two mixed to make this beautiful purple color. So, oops, you can't see it because I am too low. These two mixed to make this beautiful purple color that's on here. Um, I really, really think it turned out really nicely. I did the whole under sketch of her in blue, and then I used some of the mint on her as well um, in different places to get the right coloring. And this uh, silver stuff was really good, too. The one thing that was interesting is these two pots were dried down. This one wasn't dried down all the way, but I wish it was, and I might leave it open and let it dry down because these two being dried down, like, look, they were so nice to work with because I could reactivate it so easily in the pot. The other one here, this one, it was so much harder to work with because it, it, it's not dry. And so it's like somewhere between this weird wet and dry where it was really hard to get out. Once I got to using it, though, like it worked really well, but I just wished it had been dried down. So I'm going to like probably leave this open to dry itself down. But the value was definitely there. So... Here is my is it worth a comparison. So the Jackson, the Jackman's pearlescent pots were $5.57, valued at $5.57 each for $16.70. Um, when I went to their website, um, I thought that the value was going to be less because the mint one was on sale, but actually um, they're valued spot on and you can just get them there. And the thing is, if you're not from the UK, I, I imagine the shipping to get here would have been really a lot. So um, I'm going to say that they are spot on in their value. The Derwent watercolor pencils, um, 
were valued at $277 each. I was able to find them all a little cheaper, open stock on both Blick and Jerry's, so there was a little bit of a money save there. Um, the Sea White Round 4 brush, I couldn't find anywhere online, but I did compare it to a couple different brushes, and it's, it's definitely comparable, and I think the value is right where it should be for that. And then the same thing with the paper pad. So my value came out to $29.71 for this box. They valued themselves at $31.52. I found the watercolor pencils a little bit cheaper. That's the main difference. Um, I paid $27.83 for this box. So I think this box was a great deal. Um, it was fun. It was water media. It was definitely giving me something that I would not have used myself in these because I would never um, just go on their website and buy them from the UK and ship them here. So I love that I got to play with these um, and solid watercolor paper that my daughter and I will end up using. Three watercolor pencils I'll add to my stash. So overall, I think this box was a great value. I hope that you enjoyed watching me make this piece of art and we'll see you in the next video. Um, if you liked everything today, please like and subscribe and we'll be back next time. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.